Howdy sports fans. Welcome into the Chickasaw Card Collecting TP. Just going to do a short little video here on some cards through the mail and a couple of these Fairfield boxes that I found at the local Walmart. Got this ball here that I promised I'd share with you. It's got a bunch of different good names on it as a possible and that's the top of the box it's the tri-star hidden treasures platinum autographed baseball we want the Babe Ruth one of course but see this is pre-open since I I got it on a another site another online site take a chance you always have to take a chance to here's the uh, identification purposes and it looks like it's uh, Billy Williams ball Billy Williams retired Cubs number 26 And this is the ball, boys and girls. Billy Williams, 61 Rookie of the Year. Apparently his most proud accomplishment. And there's... the authentication well Billy Williams okay that wasn't bad was it Let's see if we can get it back in its, in its little silver bag here put it back in its nice little box The rest of my balls. Let's see if that big box for last. We'll go with one of these Fairfield. I don't know if any of you notice it, but check us out. Card collecting sign has disappeared. I'm not sure what happened to it. I got up this morning and it was gone and it's unable to be found. It just disappeared. And as you can see, this is glued very well so it's not been previously opened or searched look at the glue that they have on this thing it's amazing and we've all been through these boxes a number of times and a bunch of a number of different boxes bunch of one backwards and upside down and we got a top opening day pack from 2018 inside to just straighten all these things out but there's nothing really too exciting in these I mean sometimes you can find a gem but it's oh there's a Bowman Chrome Auto UD Garcia how about that huh first Bowman Chrome Auto Well, that's definitely a hit. Very nice. Very nice. I mean, you don't get the 
autos at those Fairfield packs very often, do we? UD Garcia. Tim decides see if there might be something else exciting in the rest of this. The Flair Flair Card Company, Ozzy Guillen, 1996. Some more. There's the upper deck cards at where the Griffey rookie is at. I mean, you have fun going through these things, man. Lots of decent cards in here. Even though they're all commons. And relatively. Lesser known guys. You know, a lot of these guys aren't big names in these Fairfield boxes, but you do get some decent. to see. There's a Dave Stewart card. Looks pretty good. There's Eddie Murray. Huh. 91 tops. Top 40. 40 years of baseball. Gary Green. Yep, oh, here's another bombing. Bear Claw, Lance Johnson, four years, two of them, huh? Jeff Reed, 88 goners, Keiko. Alright, so, I mean, that wasn't too bad for the first box. Let's check out our opening day pack. See if there's anything decent in there. See on the back, Jose Abreu. Opening day, Adam Jones. Ryan McMahon. Carlos Rodon. Christian Vasquez. Francisco Lindor. Joey Votto. And of course, the Jose Abreu we'd seen on the back of the pack. So that wasn't bad for the first Fairfield box. We'll go into our second Fairfield box. We'll go into this one from the bottom. We won't be fighting so much with the blue on the other side. And what's our pack? Opening day again, looks like. Yep. 18 opening day. Okay, we'll start here. We got a Gallo. Let me just see if I can get a little bit better camera angle here for y'all. Polidor. Moose Hoss. Willie Banks. Um. Is Ernie, Ernie's cousin once removed? Isringhausen, the pitcher. Of course, this was the 93 upper decks. I'm oh, sorry, 97 upper deck set. Kind of a weird design. They try to make this copper band at the bottom. I mean, if you can see it, they kind of have a wood grain, you know, to try to make it look like a bat. Steve Bouchelle, Steinbach, Alex Fernandez, that upper deck again. Pause for a second, I gotta have a drink. 
we know Fernandez because he uh, lost his life in a boating accident off the Florida coast. Charlie Hayes, Rockies. 1986 strikeout leaders, American League. Got Teddy Higuera on the card. And we got a bunch of cards backwards so we'll flip them back I thought it was a numbered card this is Chili Davis with the Yankees Jeff Kent the Giants Juan Guzman Fred Lynn Steve Balboni Tim Burke Wally Ritchie I hate the backwards so Jeff Fry. And we got Sheffield, who collector's choice. The upper deck. We got the Dwight Gooden. And here's the, the Sport Flex. Tim Salmon. It's the younger Tim Salmon. 1996. And then there we. And then we have uh, Sheffield, Gary Sheffield with the Florida Marlins. <clears throat> El Pedrique, Mickey Brantley, Pinella manager, Moose Haas, there's a Tops, Eddie Whitson, Gary Ronicky, Ronicky, Bill Call, Bill, Mike Felder. So these are, you know, that's the thing with the Fairfield boxes is, you know, if you're the kind of card guy like me, you you collect them to save them. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of them I'd like to say, buy or sell on the eBay or whatever, but I just have a hard time with paying them to be able to set up my own site to do it. But I wasn't born Ten years ago, and have computers figured out. Dion James Meyer, and you can. Anyway, what I was saying is, I collect them to try to complete sets. You know, now that Moose Haas is three of them so far in this box. So a lot of these tops like this, four Moose Hosses. Wow. Some of the new Cedric Mullins here. A lot of these old tops, you know, like on the BITG site, he makes available, you can buy into some of the older tops. He's got full sets and you can win cards in these sets. Well, these Fairfield boxes like this, they give you the opportunity to find the rest of the cards in that set so it helps you to fill sets by buying these Fairfield cards for relatively cheap dineros my bros of course some of them are like this set this 90 Donruss ugly I mean, the backs of these ones are nice, I think. But the front, they're just ugly. I mean, you could... Millions and millions. I don't know how many of these things I have in the stuff I have stored in Montana. I bet I probably have eight or 9,000 of those cards up there. Borders. Nelson.
Okay, I see there's some more at 90 dollars. That's a that's just something that they decided to. There must have been there must have been a deal on red ink that year. That's all I can figure. Oh, it's Daffy Duck. Hold the mustard. How about that? Daffy Duck. And Wiley Coyote on the other side. Evening Ralph. Evening Sam. I mean, you guys watch those cartoons? That's when Ralph and Sam were employed as sheep herders. And the shift change was up. So Ralph was a big old honking sheep dog and Wiley Coyote was Sam trying to get himself some free meals. Which of course if you're a fan of Coyote like I was he never got anything to work for him. Aladdin. This is a flare set here. That's a. I think this is a nice design for cards from this era. And they went back a little bit, you know, tipping their hat to some of the past. You know, putting these little cartoons on the back, and then a little trivia question. So I think Flair made a good decision with this design. But, you know, a lot of these cards you look back at and, you know, especially if you were a child in the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s, you know, these cards bring back your childhood memories. Whereas, you know, my childhood memories are in the 60s and the 70s. Make it work for these. These guys that pack these boxes. I don't know what they're doing. They just, oh, let's try this one this way. Let's put this one this way. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Make, do this one upside down. Car See, like this guy, I've never heard of this guy. Padres, Carlos Asu Asaj, maybe from 2018. Looky, this is all minor league. He had 89 games with the Padres in 2017 so he was 15 16 17 I guess that's all they could get out of him no he tried cool Calhoun kind of sad to see him leave the Angels this year but not missing him so much yet because We've got this China virus attacking us, or whatever it is. Franco, where's another? A fairly new top star, Musgrove, Wendell, Sonny Gray. Doesn't look like we're going to get our... There's a Panini contender from 2015. Rob Deere, Nick Hundley. Jeff Zahn, Ben and Bosch, Bill Duran, Hamilton. Yeah, so that's not too bad. Didn't get a signature auto relic in that box, but we still have this top's opening day left. Matt Weeders. Reese Hoskins rookie card 
Josh Bell. Home run apple. New York Mets. Home run apple. And we have Matt Kemp. Well traveled Matt Kemp. Daniel Murphy. And Jonathan Scoop. Well, we got a Reese Hopkins rookie. He deserves a penny sleeve. Well, two Fairfield boxes. We did get some other rookie cards, but we got we got an auto and we got a Reese Hopkins rookie card out of those opening day packs, Fairfield boxes. So that wasn't too bad. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna end this video here, upload it to the YouTube and then We'll do this box in another video. Thanks for watching, fellas. Have a good one.